Hello everyone. This is my review of the Asphalt 9 game. Uh, so I've been playing this game for almost uh, 4 years now. So I've collected almost 58 cars. So as you can see uh, all across these cars. So I wanted to uh, share my experience with the game. What I like about it, what I don't like about it. And uh, a few more tips on how to complete our daily goals. So as you can see, I have six goals to be completed every day. So by completing these uh, six goals, I can uh, get these uh, uh, asphalt tokens, asphalt nine tokens, which you can see. They will be very much helpful for you either in upgrading the cars or uh, uh, something like that. So as you can see now, 15 into 6 is 9, 90, 90 plus 15 is almost, uh, how much, 90 plus 15 is 100, 105. So every day you can collect 105 tokens uh, of, these, uh, of these tokens, will, what, what you see here. So how to get all these tokens, there is a very simple uh, uh, task which you have to do and uh, so let me show show you how to do that and before that i want to show that uh, asphalt 9 has recently introduced this uh, auto claim feature that is uh, you don't need to play the unnecessary races uh, earlier we, we i had to play in order to get this uh, my increase my cash in the game or my uh, additional points in the game i had to play all of that so I'll show you like how to collect all of that. So see you are seeing this uh, to claim. Uh, uh, there is there is this coins and uh, in you know four of these events you can claim the points where you can see. So let me open that. Uh, so how do you claim that? Just click on this to claim and just click auto claim. I have uh, got this much of cash right now so my cash has increased that is a really good feature with the auto claim otherwise I had to play all of these races uh, so almost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so 9, 10, 11 races I had to play every time in order to uh, increase my cash in the game. So now that is a good feature that you don't have to play all those races. So Gameloft, I think uh, they have in, they have thought about giving the free, uh, increasing the cash for free, so that you can you are be able to add uh, additional. Uh, you can able you can be able to explore the additional and another events of the game. So I think that's a good feature. So let let us just claim all of our uh, uh, auto claim uh, things. Now. These points are also useful in upgrading your car. So auto claim again. Okay. Plus one ninety. Okay, these are trade coins. I got more trade coins. One seventy. Okay. Now, how do you spend this uh, cash or uh, how do you use your cash? That's up to you. So every day you have to upgrade, uh, you have to perform three upgrades for your cars. So I'll, uh, let me show that. Let us go back to our, uh, sorry, there is one more reward here. Okay, that's more cash, good, good enough okay so now let us complete uh, i'll just show you how to complete these goals daily goals six goals are there let us complete them so let us select any one of our cars and uh, let us try to upgrade the car that will improve two goals you can achieve two goals right there okay so i'll just collect one of my i'll just open one of my s class cars so i have four of these s class cars and this is the one i, I received recently like in hypersport 
Okay, I'm just going to upgrade the car. Okay. So as you can see, there is one upgrade. And here, these, these parts, as you can see in this uh, little hexagon, so three out of five upgrades are there. So uh, we can upgrade one more here. These are called import parts that also increases the car's rank. Mm, okay, let's add that. So we have achieved two goals right now. Now you just have to uh, achieve four more goals. So, so as you can see, two of them have we have achieved. We just have four. Now let's go with the purchase at the Legion store. Okay, just click on that go. And purchase any one of this. So that will be uh, that will add up one more goal for you and you can uh, collect either one of these. You can either go for this uh, import epic cards as you can see and these are these things you can purchase with the trade coins which I have 12,227 as you can see. Otherwise you can purchase any of these uh, uh, six uh, these six cards you can purchase any of these six cards. So. I'll go with the rare card here. So as you can see, this car is having 33 prints. I already have 33 prints of this car. If I collect uh, more 38, uh, if I collect five more cards, I'll be able to upgrade this car. I'll be able to star up this car. What is star up is, I'll show you. See, uh, in the stock, there are five, uh, five cards of this car. So I already have the car. If you don't have the car, the car will unlock if you purchase, if you buy this through the cash which is given to you. Otherwise, the car will be upgraded. When you have this close, when you are this close to upgrading the car, you can just upgrade the car. One. So, two. good time so I can as you can see the car can be improved to 2777 that is the number that I can improve okay 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 so this way I have completed one more goal either you can purchase in, in any of these six uh, items or you can purchase in any of these two items with the trade coins which I just mentioned okay so that is how you complete three goals like I said now uh, what else do we have so how do you play uh, you can just play three races to complete any of the remaining three goals you can play any race and uh, you can play daily events so you can increase your uh, club reputation so either you can perform any of these events so you will uh, you can achieve your daily goals by that so open daily events so let's just take a short test race possible and the plus point of this game is that uh, you can really try you can see uh, free try this is there where you can uh, try the new new cars which are not there in your stock so what I mean is uh, so I don't own this car it is given for a trial so I really love this Porsche so as you can see it's really beautiful but I don't have any print of this car um, so I can play this car I can just take a free trial of this car what I like about this game is the graphics, they are really good. The cars, they are really great. Uh, the locations of the they are really good. The music is really good. Okay. 
have the touch drive on on in the game okay now if you want to watch a replay of the race you can watch it you can choose any of this cinematic or car any of these camera angles you can watch so you can pause it and see you can take a cool screenshot of your car it's really cool to see so and you can just uh, in this fov view you can uh, see this is how you can view the car and in this cinematic view it's absolutely stunning you can just close this eye icon see so that's how you can see the entire race how you played see that's a really cool view i like about that okay so this is how you can just replay the race that's about it the, those are the replay features so I'm just going to finish one more race now. Let's complete two more races. Okay. That's a new feature. Okay, here we have one more car. The Chevrolet Corvette. Chevrolet Corvette So this is the new car. I really like this one Has this NASCAR uh, feeling to it So yeah, let's try this one While it is loading, uh, so this is the game I've been playing for, uh, on this account. I've been playing this game for almost uh, four years now. I, as I said, in all of my experience, uh, this is the game I really like because I am very passionate about it. So that is one, uh, one of the biggest plus points of this game. just meant like that it's okay if you don't win it it's okay. okay now let's go back and play one more race okay mm. so there is one more free try here Okay, this is one car I really like about this. This is a Jaguar XE SV Project 8. I really love this car in this particular color. I'll show you the other colors of the car. Just tap on any color. You can see here the colors of this car. I really like this car in green color. White, red. I love, I love this color uh, green. So let's play this particular way. So as I told you, I don't have any of these cars. So they are just there for you to experience for some, some time. Uh, let's say one week or two weeks. They are just right there. You can just experience them. Uh, 
okay and here also in this place also i'm not going to bring this here of your ability to try to win the race. Even if you don't do it, it's okay. This location has been recently added and it's really strong to look at. These are the tasks of this race. So as you can see, I have completed one of them. Two of them I have completed. So you just have to do two shock waves and uh, three jumps. So meters drift rate and nitrous time. So these are the tasks which I had along with the race time. Unfortunately, when I played it a lot of times, I played it almost eight times. I, I was unable to achieve that. That's okay. It's okay. Uh, so just like I said, just it's for just for your experience to uh, have an experience of the new car. Okay. Okay. So, so I just have this car for two more days. I can experience this car, and this also I have it for another four days. So like this, you can just experience the new car. So as you can see I have completed all the daily goals now, uh, 6 goals I have completed in order to claim this uh, the top uh, 15 uh, additional tokens. So let me just claim, so as you can see I am able to add to my uh, daily 8819 uh, additional coins, I am just adding that up these tokens now. Okay, so all in all, I'm having now 8,849 tokens. So you can either spend them or keep on adding them. And let's talk about the cars themselves now. You have five different set of cars. Uh, those people who are familiar with uh, the Asphalt 8 feature, they also know that these. Some of these cars are carried forward from that game as well. So in D class. These are the standard cars, the Mitsubishi Lancer, the BMW Z4 and the Nissan 370Z of course. This is the car which you, these are the basic bread and butter of the, of the game and along with this D uh, Challenger. Okay, in the C class we have, uh, again in C class I have my one of, one of my favorite cars, two of my favorite cars actually. I have completely maximized them. Uh, I have this uh, my Dodge Viper ACR. This is one car which is very fast and very fun to drive. And uh, the
the most favorite car in this uh, C class or the most favorite car in this game is this uh, Pininfarina H2 Speed. You just have to experience this car. This car is phenomenally uh, fast and it's great to drive. Uh, it's so much fun to drive. It's very fast to drive. It's very very uh, fun to drive. Yeah. So that's about the C class. I have some other cars as well. I don't want to. Uh, I'm just mentioning the best cars which I have now. So in B class, I have my. What is my favorite car here? Of course, all of these are great cars, but to pick the best of these cars, I have this Lamborghini Asterion. I depend a lot on this particular car uh, in my credits heist or uh, in in uh, in my career mode. Also, this car is really helpful. Uh, okay, as you can see, I have uh, given some modifications as well. I have unlocked a lot on this car. So yeah, those who are playing new by achieving the daily goals, you can uh, unlock one blueprint of this car every day. So that's how by performing the daily goals in about one or one and a half month, I was able to unlock this car. Thereby I was trying to upgrade it, upgrade it. Then I maximize the car. So as you can see, it's really looking so cool now. Earlier it, it just had a basic blue color. Uh, that's the main color I'll show you the official color was this it was so boring now uh, I have given it a very cool uh, uh, custom color my blue my so sort of a uh, Lamborghini green color I really like that okay so coming to a class I have my okay this is another car I really want to talk about in B class McLaren Elva it's really topless and it's so beautiful to look at it this is also a very much fun uh, car to drive in my uh, profile in my youtube channel you can see a few races that I played with these cars as well it's really great okay McLaren Elva I just have two I just need two more blueprints of this car to start it up okay uh, yeah, this is also one of my favorite cars, the Ferrari F12. So this car is also very fast and uh, there are a few career races uh, where you uh, play this game uh, th with this particular car. I know that Ferraris are look good. Uh, I know Ferraris look good in uh, red always, but uh, watch them in yellow color. It's really stunning. In yellow color, Ferraris are more good for me. Okay, what else is there? So, should you really pay money in Asphalt 9? I say yes for some times, uh, but most of the times no. So, why yes? Because, uh, see, this particular car, Lamborghini uh, Murcielago, was my dream car. I When I saw that this car was there for money, I didn't think. Uh, in Indian currency, this was 1299 rupees or uh, approximately 1300 to 1500 rupees. I don't remember. So I spent on that because uh, I had a passion on this car. I really wanted to have it. I so badly wanted to have this car. So at that time, you can spend the money. It's up to you whether you want to spend your money on the game or not. It all depends on whether the offer, what they are offering is really exciting for you or not uh, and sometimes when you're purchasing a legend pass one of the cars will be given so when i purchased a legend pass that is when i got this mclaren elba so purchasing it once or twice depending check the rewards first understand what the reward is going to be then only spend your money on that so take your call be very cool when you're purchasing any car or any uh, legend pass for that matter so i stopped purchasing legend pass because uh, uh, the rewards what they were offering they were not really that exciting i didn't really like that much and then uh, gameloft introduced this uh, auto claim feature where i was able to unlock uh, the lycan hypersport uh, this is one of the great looking car uh, i had played a few uh, events with this car as well so yeah
that is the one of the best looking cars and this ferrari as well fxxk yeah this k this car also almost every thursday i think you can uh, get one blueprint of this car for free if you uh, keep on auto claiming every day so make sure that you claim your rewards each and every day okay that's about it so these are the classes of the cars and my favorite cars of this game yeah one more car this is lamborghini centenario this is also a car uh, newcomers can get this car every day by auto claiming uh, your rewards every day make sure you auto claim and unlock these cars so in every class there is one car at least one car which you can freely uh, obtain okay so make sure that you can check this so this is also a one car uh, i got through legend pass okay so let's see uh, what is what are the current offers that game loft is currently offering uh, if for the money in indian currency okay i'm just going to click on this check rewards i'm not purchasing anything uh, recently so as you can see the season benefits of this uh, 899 rupees uh, season pass is that you get a two star exclusive car uh four extra gas capacity on all cars and daily free ticket refill so the more you this is these rewards are only uh, useful when you play the game repeatedly uh, when you are able to uh, enjoy the game repeatedly so right now i am at a phase where uh, i don't want to spend too much money i feel like i have played the game enough uh, okay so let's check the rewards what are there i just want to sh uh, show you what rewards are there here so i we can get uh, the jaguar what i what we saw the previous trial you can get that car and uh, there are few more rewards almost endless rewards you can find okay so either you can buy the pass for 899 rupees in indian currency or you can skip it later okay so for 2699 you can buy a uh, one more bundle pass around the world season okay let's check what are the rewards again you get this jaguar and some more cash and some more additional tokens so okay and few more rewards so pretty much for me at this point of time i don't need this that is why i'm not spending it if you really require or if you are uh, passionate about the car you spend it it's up to you it's your call okay okay and uh, so as you can see there are some seasonal events uh according to me the seasonal events are almost a joke now so some events see like this if i had i don't have the blueprint of this car that event is useless for me see that's it so if there is a car where i can play this i can play it if not it's okay you, you cannot play it it's as simple as that so i can start way so don't fall into the trap of the the game uh, the game makers they want you to spend the money it's your hard earned money so uh, i suggest not to spend too much money once or twice for your guilty pleasure like i said if you are really passionate about the cars then only spend your money otherwise no okay and uh, like uh, i just showed you the daily events so here you can freely uh, trial one of those cars every week these cars will be changing uh it's very important that you time to time you upgrade the video game the game as well and here one more uh, mode is there the career mode as you can see i have achieved uh, 1252 flags or to and i have completed 65% of the career in 3 years okay i still have the career races but uh, i don't play that much of the career races now as you can see all these tick marks i have completed them uh one of my favorite things about this game is the escape mode um i really enjoy playing this escape races those are going to be your cop cops chasing your car those are really cool to watch yeah and uh, i'm struck with some of them 
some of the events I'm really stuck so as you can see the task here is that uh, I have to win the race uh, yes I have won the race but you have to beat the time with just two minutes with the BMW i8 Roadster I have the car yes uh, but you have to perform nine jumps yes those two things I could not uh, uh, complete it so the race is still pending okay so and here also I have to complete this race with the with that particular car Vincent Swarte so yeah so again like that this entire season is pending so right now I am at a stage where I have played enough of the game I believe so I'm just playing completing the daily tasks I'm just waiting for uh, more additional cars let's see what the, this game is been there in my phone so whenever I change my phone also uh, if I even if I buy a high-end phone this account is always there with me so I am really passionate about the cars so I play as much as possible so like I said right now I am just completing my daily goals I'm just enjoying the game for some for some time that's it okay so when I'm having too much free time I open any of these career modes so I can play if I have uh, the next race which is available for me I'll try to do that so so I can see this is one more uh, this is the type of race escape race so this hunted or escape it means that uh, cops will be chasing you in that particular race in my profile I have recorded almost each and every escape race of this game uh, you can just check them out I'll leave a few links in the description box below yeah that's about career race so you complete these races as much as possible you can uh, unlock the cars so as you can see I have got these cars through completing these careers only okay so yeah so I still have new races which I haven't really touched that much so yeah you have to play uh, additional races to complete them so I kind of kept the game on hold for some time now I'm just uh, completing my daily goals so what I really like about this game are the like I said the graphics of the game the locations of the game the cars themselves they are really beautiful to look at uh, some of the cars they really feel terrifically great uh, like I said this Nissan uh, and my Pininfarina H2 where is it this car some of the cars I really enjoyed the, them thoroughly uh, you can see plenty of races in my uh, YouTube channel I have recorded uh, so I, I'm like I said I'm really passionate about the cars uh, so yeah the feel of the cars is terrific the graphics are amazing yeah and it's very easy to control the you can just uh, playing the tutorial you I think you can easily able to understand how to play the race uh, okay so what I don't like about the game is that uh, after some time you feel monotonous the game feels really monotonous uh, the same cars are there you just uh, you just have to uh, hold the car and you just have to uh, keep performing the tasks and the tasks don't themselves they don't feel uh, amazing so uh, it's not engaging after a point of time this this car this game doesn't make any sense after one point of time to play unless you're really passionate about uh, passionate about the cars even you're passionate about the cars how many cars you will be passionate about some of the cars they don't feel really good uh, they're not that great uh, the the handling is really rubbish and uh, after having 58 cars I really feel uh, completely satisfied and uh, I don't have that much passion left on the on the game themselves uh, on the game now so just because I have the uh, I have this game with me I'll just complete my uh, daily goal combo what you see here so that's that's about it I don't play that much often right now I'm just accumulating the cash as much as possible uh, given the auto claim feature that is really good like I said uh, so daily I open the game in the morning and uh, 
I perform this auto claim so yeah and I also take a few uh, these free trials that is one more feature I really like about the game otherwise uh, the cars have, the cars themselves have become really monotonous now and starting up the cars that is another uh, really pain in the ass uh, that, that is really pain uh, to upgrade these cars and to maintain them that, that was really a problematic uh, feature before and multiplayer is another mode where you can uh, either uh, yeah, let's see what's there, in, what's there in multiplayer right now I really don't understand uh, how Gameloft uh, uh, has put in the multiplayer game so there are almost uh, 7 to 8 players in every race when you open the uh, multiplayer mode um, but what happens is uh, very rarely you, you come first in the multiplayer I don't know what on what basis the multiplayer really works on uh, I really don't know that I'm, I'm uh, yeah I have I have come first a few times so I have those videos also in my timeline so in multiplayer also you just keep playing and you can just uh, check check out the new car uh, that is there okay so that's about my experience with the game so like I said, uh, Asphalt 9, it's good uh, in the starting uh, if you're really passionate about uh, cars or car races. So this game is there for you. You can just explore. So and the negative points, like I said, are after a point of time, it feels really monotonous. And the, uh, the features what they have in this game, it's not that attractive after one point of time. Yeah. So the, my suggestion for Gameloft will be to increase the cop chases. I really like, I'm a kind of guy who likes this uh, car chases, that tension which is there when a cop car is chasing you and you're trying to escape from that in the, in the limited period of time. I really enjoy that kind of races. My suggestion to Gameloft would be to please increase the uh, those kind of chase events. Yeah. I have already, uh, if for a few times you will see the game, the, if you install the game, sometimes the game, the game loft will ask you to take a survey on this. In each and every survey I have mentioned that, uh, to increase these cop events. So they did increase a few times, uh, I had some good times with it. Every time I have a cop car chasing with me, I try to record that race and I want to keep it on my YouTube channel. So that is my passion. So share your experience uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel okay so this is my experience with the asphalt 9 so see you in the next video bye